Hi, have you recently purchased one of the new WinBook IP network security cameras and are wondering how to install it wirelessly to your network? Hi, my name is Pat. I'm one of the techs here at Micro Center, and today we're actually going to show you how to go in and connect one of these things wirelessly to your network. So, let's get started. Okay, so currently we have the WinBook IP network security camera physically connected to the router with an Ethernet cable and we'll need to have those physically connected for now to get this set up wirelessly but um, afterwards we're gonna get this thing uh, hooked up wirelessly and I'm gonna show you just how to do that so what we first want to do is insert the disk that came with the security camera and we want to click on the start menu and then go to computer and I'm gonna double click on this disk to open it up okay then we want to double click on the bsearch underscore en software here to open up the uh, utility and I'm going to click on search down here and so it's found the device we click on it it's going to highlight that in blue and so um, here's the important part we want to deselect the option for the IP configuration to be set up automatically because we're actually going to need to manually enter in um, an IP address for the camera so um, we need the uh, networks IP configuration so to find that out we're going to need to open up a command prompt so if we click on the start button again in the search box down at the bottom if we type in the letters CMD and then click on that and then we're going to type in IP config. That's I P C O N F I G, and then hit enter. And so we're going to take note of this information that we've got listed right here. So uh, the default gateway, um, that's the router's IP address here, and that's 192.168.0.1. Yours may be a little bit different, but just make sure to take note of this information as well as the subnet mask and also uh, the computer that I'm on has its own IP address we're going to want to make sure that the IP address we give the camera is different from this computer or any other device that you have on the network so um, right now um, I'm just going to go ahead and make the camera's IP address dot 102 um, you're going to want to have it in the range of pretty much between 0 and 254 um, obviously it's in this situation it's got to be above one but and then we want to make sure that the other settings are correct so the subnet mask is correct and the default gateway is set to dot zero dot one and the DNS server is almost always going to be the same as the default gateway so we're going to leave that um, as it is there too um, and then so we're going to want to go down here into the account for watching um, this is going to be the same for all the cameras so the um, the account name is admin a d m i n and then the password is always going to be one two three four five six and then we're going to want to click on update and then we click on yes here and so it's been successfully updated and we're going to give that a moment here to let it restart the camera here okay so now if I go ahead and click on this again we can see that the changes are reflected the IP configuration is not set up automatically and the new IP address that I've entered for the camera is showing here so if we go down here and click on browse it's going to bring up a uh, a web page um, in whatever browser is set up as a default browser and it's going to want us to log in so again um, I'm going to enter admin for the username and one two three four five six for the password and we can go ahead and click on remember the credentials if, if you want to automatically log you in every time now this is the uh, the web interface for the camera first uh, we're gonna wanna make sure if you haven't done this already um, we're gonna want to download the player um, so um, you know if you're using Internet Explorer uh, like I am I'm gonna download this here now 
if uh, if you're using a different browser like Firefox or perhaps Google Chrome or maybe even Safari, uh, you're going to go down here. But for this example, um, I'm going to download the player here for Internet Explorer, and we should get the option to run, save, or cancel. I'm going to run it. So, um, and then we're going to click Run again after the security scan is done. And if we have a user account control message come up asking us if we want uh, the program to make changes, uh, we're just going to go ahead and go ahead and click Yes. Okay, then we want to click on Mode 1 to view, and it's going to bring up the picture feed from our camera. And just remember, right now, it's, uh, it is connected hardwired, but we're going to uh, get it set up to connect wirelessly. So up here, I'm going to go ahead and click on Network. And then over on the right-hand side, we want to click on Wireless Settings. And we're going to press Scan here, and basically this is going to allow the camera to look for any available wireless networks. Okay, so it's pulled up a list of wireless networks here and if it's got several listed just make sure that you find uh, your network and once you find it uh, click on it. Make sure that the uh, correct, correct encryption type is selected. Um, right now I'm using WPA2 um, for this network and also make sure you enter in the correct uh, network share key or um, it, might, it might be uh, labeled as network security key but basically, basically it's the uh, password that you have set up on your network so that's what I have set up on this one I would highly recommend not having such a simple password set up uh, for your own network um, but just for ease of purposes that's what I made for this one so and click on submit and it's going to reboot the camera again and usually this takes about the full 30 seconds but once it gets done rebooting um, we're going to be able to uh, make sure it's hooked up wirelessly okay so it's um, rebooted now I'm going to go back to view and this time I'm going to disconnect the ethernet cable from the back of the camera and it's going to take it a few seconds to readjust but uh, the camera is set to automatically always look for that wireless network now um, usually it takes a, a few seconds or so but we'll see here in a, in a second that the uh, feed should come back okay and that's how we get that set up wirelessly if uh, you have any more questions um, please come visit us at www.microcentertech.com